All right. Let's see if we can get a couple people in here. And sending out some information. How's everybody doing so far? Log in. It's just been a crazy day for me. I just been, I woke up at like 3 a.m. just just doing work. Uh, it was it was crazy. Oh, here we go. And I will connect her through. Hello. Hey, Amanda. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Great. Good. How's the uh, How's the quarantine holding up for you? It's good. You know, um, I'm back in New Jersey with my family. I was in Nashville. Um, I live. I moved to Nashville, but now I'm back here, kind of hanging out. <laughs> how about you? Good. Good. I'm I'm in uh, California right now, and I'm just okay. I'm just living life and just chilling, just waiting for this thing to be done you know yeah it is rough <laughs> yeah for sure i just have this itch to go out and just perform and stuff but then, you I know, know i just I know. how much i needed it for sure same it's such a bummer because like i was just also just starting to kind of book some shows in nashville for pretty much the first time and like once this happened everything was just obviously cut off so eventually yeah, <laughs> yeah. But have you been good? Um, it's been forever. Yeah, it's been a long time. I've been good. I've uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been out here for about eight years now, and That's I've just awesome. been doing just like wineries, weddings, house concerts, just a whole awesome. bunch of. Things. I just I love it. yeah. That's so cool. Where in California are you? I'm in uh, Northern California. It's like a um, hour north of San Francisco. Awesome. So like cool. I'm in. Like wine country. That's so nice. I have oh, never been to California. Oh, come over. We'll do. We'll, <laughs> we got a spot here. You know, check out some wineries. It's beautiful here. I love it here. Yes, I would love to. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> on my my bucket list. Go to California. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking to my I was talking to my grandma, and for the past like five years, she didn't understand where you know, like you just say, "Oh, I'm in California," and I think everyone thinks you're in LA. And yeah, <laughs> my grandma thought I was in LA, and I was like, "No, mom, grandma, I'm, I'm in like wine country," and she's like, "Oh, my grandson's a fancy boy. I didn't realize." That. I was like, oh, That's hilarious. Oh my god. That's so nice, though. I freaking love wine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've learned to love. I wasn't that much of a fan, but like being here and playing a bunch of stuff, like get to like know the to. notes, and you have to. You definitely have yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For sure. So, um, <laughs> tell everybody who's coming in. Um, let's see a couple people come yeah. in. Hello, everybody. Um, Hello. Like, uh, can everyone hear us? Leave a comment and see if you know, let us know if there's any problems or, or whatever. But uh, tell everybody, you know, who you are, what you do, and, you know, your journey and how you got here. Yeah, so I um, am a singer-songwriter. I am from New Jersey, and I recently moved to Nashville. Um, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time, probably. Uh, I have a little connection. Um, oh, yeah. You back? Are we all good? Can, can you hear me? A little bit, yeah. I, I can hear you. Okay, all right. If you can hear me still, we're good. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I've just been writing songs and singing for probably 15 years at this point. It's been a long time. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what else there is to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I no, that's cool. Oh. Do you have a, um, so what do you think, do you think it's easier or harder to get in, um, I need some lightning here, um, do you think yeah. it's easier or harder, like, touring, so you, you started doing some shows in Nashville before this whole thing happened, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I had some booked, but mm -hmm. I didn't play many while I moved down there, because I just moved down there in um, October, so the end of October. Um, gotcha. So yeah. I haven't been down there a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably the wrong time to move to Nashville. <laughs> but <laughs> um, but well, I've been playing. Like, yeah. 
No, I was going to ask, do you feel like, I know you just got there, but um, mm -hmm. do you feel like booking shows was easier over there or was it like so saturated that you was just kind of like a battle or? Um, I don't, I don't think it's like a battle. I think that, I think that the community down there is actually super, super like, well, like they want to listen and they want to hear you and they want to book you. So it's actually really nice. I, um, whether it's kind of being at a show and meeting somebody and being like, do you want to be on this show? It's, it's a lot of like open-minded and um so it's different I think that it's different also coming from like New York City because I lived there right before I lived in Nashville um yeah. and so that's a, yeah yeah that was different New York's a lot more I guess booking shows wise I mean it's hard to say because I've been playing in New York since I was like 16 but it's a lot more I guess cutthroat up there than it is in Nashville I don't know maybe <laughs> I'm like, maybe that's like a naive thought <laughs> but yeah um so far, at least, but I don't know. I feel like I haven't really dove into the whole the Nashville music scene yet. I'm just kind of getting it's into it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's good, kind of, you know. Yeah, I would totally good. hear you about um, about New York. I just remember the last time I played in New York. Um, I, I, you know. It, it took, it's so hard to get people from to come from New Jersey all the way up to New York to see their to see them before. I and like I packed like four or five people like up and yep. like, you know get them oh, yeah. and up, up there. And then I went to this one show, and then um, they didn't tell me, but the health inspector shut down the the place. <laughs> so I I had a whole I was just like I'm done with New York right now. <laughs> so like, I'm oh yeah. God, yeah, it's so hard and. It's so true because people, a lot of people, I think, look at the city as like a new, another planet and uh, uh, yeah. it's, to get there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Many, many times loading up our van at home with all of our friends and going into Manhattan and playing a show. And then once I lived there, it was, you know, a bit easier for everybody to come. But okay. yeah. <laughs> Like try to convince your best friends, like, oh, you know, the total is $40 or $30 <laughs> or whatever it is. And you know, yeah, we'll buy your drinks. Yeah, it just felt yeah. like a nightmare. But I could have been anybody who was doing that. It's, it, was, it was rough. Yep. Now yeah. I'm like, now I'm in New York too. I mean, I, it's crazy what they're going through right now too. It's wild. Yeah. I mean, everywhere, but <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So it's Nashville's been great though so far. I, I love it. I, I want to play some more shows after, obviously. And this is all better. <laughs> awesome. Was, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that, you know, was there, um, you know, obviously there's the music aspect of, you know, mm -hmm. of playing in, in Nashville. Was, uh, it, was there another reason why you wanted to go to, like, that city versus another, another city? Or um, Yeah, so I've been wanting to move to Nashville both since, like, before I moved to uh, to New York. So like when I was in college, I was kind of debating moving to Nashville, obviously for like songwriting. Um, and New York ended up happening cause I ended up getting a job in New York and, uh, you know, which was, which was great cause I played a lot in the city, but I think I, um, been wanting to move to Nashville only because like my genre is a bit more fit. I think, I don't even know if that, if that makes sense anymore, but like, um, I don't know. I, it's always been the city that I wanted to move to, and I finally did it. So I'm there now. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's yeah. That's that's awesome. I you know I've always wanted to go to uh, to Nashville. Um, I did the. I don't know if you like uh, go to the CD Baby conferences at all. Um, kind of like no. uh, you should definitely go. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, I went like three or four years ago in, it was in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And then, then they had it in Nashville and I couldn't make it to, to that one, but I've never been in Nashville okay. before. But I, check it out, it's just a little bunch of, uh, are you an uh, independent yourself musician or? Yeah, yeah, I use CD Baby. That's what I've been using my entire uh, music career so far to upload and they've been extremely helpful. And I've been wanting to like, go to a conference. I feel like it would be super helpful just in general, but yeah, I'm an independent artist. <laughs> oh, nice. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not I signed. Mean, <laughs> I, no, I just feel like also being signed from like when we were younger is completely different from you know being signed now. It's just yeah. You know, when I was when I was a kid, I was like my goal was like the Grammy. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. you know, like as I got older, and like see the pitfalls and your heroes kind of going through the business aspect of that, and like oh, oh yeah. No. Uh, yes. I think I might, uh, I might just do this myself. <laughs> I know. It's it's weird. I don't even know which road, road is the right road right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep writing and see what happens. But a Grammy would be cool eventually. I, I mean, it's cool to have life right behind you. I'm not going to. Right. It wasn't as glamorous as once you saw like how to get that that Grammy, you know. Definitely. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. What do you th What do you think is like the most satisfying to you? Um, like the most satisfying thing about being like a do-it-yourself musician. Um, I guess it's like I don't know. I I'm not really sure what the exact difference is are i guess but i like the freedom to kind of just release and uh, release whatever you want whenever you want to and that freedom to just change kind of um what you want to like what you want to represent how you want to like what your brand is you kind of i like having that freedom but um but yeah no that actually is, is uh interesting because i i'm releasing uh, a new song probably next week and I just thought I'm like it's it's really cool I've always been so wrapped up about like planning releases and making them like this huge ordeal and I just am excited to just release a song and be like here it is yeah you know and, I, and this is how I'm feeling right now and you can listen to it and hopefully enjoy it but I feel like if you're a major artist that might be hard but I could be wrong you know yeah so it it's funny because, like, you know, obviously I love releasing music personally and, and stuff, and I, mm -hmm. I just released my, my EP, like, last uh, couple months ago. And the, like, me doing the journey of, like, writing the music was, like, mm -hmm. I enjoyed that more than actually, like, releasing it. It was because you just released <laughs> it. It's like, all right, now what? And, like, you got yep. to yeah. go <laughs> like, over again. Yes, the releasing process is definitely could be stressful but <laughs> yeah um especially right. like right now I um yeah but I love it yeah I always <laughs> love it <laughs> I like I don't know how to put my finger on it it's just, like it's kind of crazy when you think about it but it's just something that you know that's yeah. really enjoyable mm -hmm. um I was exactly. reading an article actually I think it was actually it was yesterday and one guy was saying how albums really aren't important as it used to be and uh it was like i kind of felt that was true because over the um over the weekend me and my wife we were like sick of being in the house so we just kind of you know drove yeah. a little road trip and we came back it was like an only hour drive and um they like she was like what you know let's let's just play an album from like beginning to end which album do you want and for some reason like it took me a long time to think of an album like I've, I've listened yeah. to from beginning to end. And I was oh, like, yeah. so when I saw that article, I was just like, mm -hmm. oh man, I kind of, that might be, that might be true. And I was wondering what you thought about like, you know, releasing albums or just doing singles or. That's an interesting point. Um, I love like the idea of, I don't know. It's hard to say. I haven't released like a full album in a in a few years. I've released kind of like EPs with maybe like five or six songs. But I would love to write like a a long album and kind of I don't know. I love that idea. I I haven't done it in a while, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love listening now like that too. That kind of just collective theme of an album that you can listen to and that whole album is is what you're feeling rather than a single where you listen to it and it's kind of just like immediate rather than a whole process of listening you know does that make sense no yeah no, i totally totally get it um yeah i was i was just thinking about the last time i 
listened to an album, like really just kind of dug in deep. And it was like um, a D'Angelo album. And like me and my wife were doing a cross country road trip to, to kind of get here. And yeah. like, and it was just so memorable, but I was like, I haven't had that uh -huh. moment in such a long time. Definitely. No, it's a great moment <laughs> for sure. Yeah. yeah. I guess they both have their perks, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Are you streaming at all? Um. Wait, what What do you mean? Like streaming, like putting, or is your music like on Spotify? Oh, yeah, all? yeah. Yes. Um. I didn't know if you meant like actively like listening, streaming to anything. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> My music's on Spotify, iTunes, um, pretty much all of the music platforms that you can get music on. Um, so, yeah. So it's all, it's pretty much all free, I, I think. Um, unless you buy it, which is cool, but <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> you to do whatever. I love yeah. that. I listened to your album and I love um, Walking Away. Is that is Oh, Walking Away? Is, Thank is you that so much. Right? Um, yeah, yeah, so Walk cool. Away. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're welcome. Um, what was like the, like, can you give me like more of the backstory of, of that, that song? Yeah, so Walk Away. I'm just trying to I think. Yeah. So I wrote, yeah. Um, I wrote that song probably two years ago, two and a half years ago at this point, which is crazy. Um, long story short, I think I was seeing this guy and um, he wasn't really like it, everything was great. And I think it was it was kind of like a, a make a decision song, like you can do this with me or you can walk away from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of really hard decision that had to be made and that's where the song came from um mm. walk away so yeah nice. thank Very you do you have um do you have a song like obviously every single song is your baby you know what i mean but like yeah. you know, yeah. there's, there's always one that's like you favor more <laughs> than the other that's like your, your sweet yeah. you have one that's um uh, that's there Yes, I do. I um, I think that that song for me right now off of is off of my recent uh, EP, and it's called Your Game. And I wrote it on the piano, and it's a, an extremely um, just a really really heart wrenching song, a kind of about uh, it. It's about kind of just like giving up on on love in a way <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and just kind of like giving up on on a certain person and kind of being like well i'm never gonna win this game you're playing so i give up on it and just saying goodbye to it and that's that song and it's one of my favorites to play so yeah that's really cool thank you I was, um I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, and um, the, one of the people were, I was talking to, they were talking about the difficulties of like playing, you know, your your heart wrenching song. Everyone has like a heart wrenching song, and mm -hmm. like, like, how many times of like balancing between playing that so many times and like where you kind of yeah. not become numb, but like yeah. you're, you're like kind of used to um, the, yeah. the feeling of, of everything and. And um, what was it? For what sure. was it? Uh, Eric Clapton. You were just saying how you know how many times had he played Tears in Heaven? You know what I mean? And, right. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with like yeah, like yesterday. I can't imagine singing that song thousands and thousands of times and feeling the same way about it. But I guess you know those songs never lose their their hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely feel like that, especially when I'm playing live. I'll be playing like super sad songs live and kind of doze off and sometimes forget what I'm singing about. And uh, <laughs> it just becomes like a second nature type of thing, which is, I think, normal. But, you know, especially I think when I'm like sitting by myself and playing the songs, that's when it hits really hard. So I'm, like, mm. oh, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I was yeah. thinking about a, a, a couple of songs that I, I wrote, and I was just like, nah, I'm not going to play that one out. Um, yeah. There was, 
yeah, there's there's like four or five of them. I'm like, I'm not gonna. I'll probably end up like crying or something like that. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Maybe when I'm older and it doesn't hurt, or whatever. I'll just bring that out. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Um, a lot. Yeah. Um, do you have a, um, do you have like a project that you're working on that's not like music related at all? Like, uh, since you're like, oh, you probably have a lot more time on your hands. Um, oh my gosh. I honestly, I don't have, it's interesting cause I, I'm still working full time. So, oh, nice. uh, but I said, oh, nice. You're, you're actually, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm able to work. Um, I'm, I'm an editor right now, so I've, work during the day nothing really has changed with that which I'm definitely grateful for so um yeah I think that with the free time that I do have I you know am working on working on a music project I'm working on uh like I said I'm I'm releasing a single next week and I've been working on more of like a stripped down acoustic uh EP since I don't have anything like that out so I really want to kind of get my raw kind of acoustic um singer like songwriter vibes in one very unplugged EP and that's what I'm gonna work on next. So yeah. That that's really cool. I really love it when like artists kinda they they kinda switch it up and you know they, they do yeah. different versions of, of songs or like just different genres. I mean it's it's along the same lines of, of what you're doing but it's you know yeah. it's, has a completely different feel towards it, and that, that's awesome. Thanks. Well, yeah, so I'm excited. Of course. Um, what do you think is has been the the most difficult thing part about being a a, a do it yourself musician? Ooh, I think that like me, I struggle with promotion. I've always struggled with like hardcore PR. Um, like on Instagram, Facebook, I love obviously writing and recording and like getting all of this together. But when it comes to like being, you know, getting all of that buzz on social media, that's when I struggle with it. Um, so that's something I want to look into. Obviously, I've been wanting to get better at that. And, you know, hopefully I do. But um, I think that it would be easier having representation with that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just something you don't have to deal with. Yeah, I, yeah. I totally get it. That's what yeah. thing me. I realized that, um, you know, I thought to me, like, do it yourself meant literally do it yourself, like everything from beginning to end. And yeah. that was just kind of, just oh, yeah. just my mind. And um, I didn't want to, you know, yeah. and plus I was, I'm just kind of like, it's just kind of like my own stuff, so like I'm very particular about how things should be. So if it's not right, then that's <laughs> there's a problem, and um, I guess that's yeah. why we go do it yourself, musicians. But um, I heard a right. quote, <laughs> um, I heard a quote recently. Um, I fell in love with it. It says, um, "Self sufficiency um, is inefficient, and inefficiency is failure." And I was like, oh, I guess that's kind of true. And uh, yeah. so I've deep. just been, I, I've just been kind of like my motto right now. So like whenever like, yeah. I was having people like get out and, you know, it's like, all right, take the reins. Like you do your, what you do best, but it's really hard. Exactly. Yes, it really is. Oh man. Yeah. So many, it's, it, it's, it's definitely hard, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah. also, can you see me right now or am I like fuzzy to you? You're a little fuzzy. On there. Am I? Just, just a tad bit. I don't know. I don't know just if it's like it's just my tablet or or what the case is. But okay, I'm gonna. Um, can you give me one second? I'm just gonna like hook, connect to the internet again. Yeah, sure. Up to here. Even better now? Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool, perfect. All right, we're back. Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of going through here and there's people like messages to me. It's like, what does it start? Like it's it started. <laughs> it's, <so long. laughs> it's on. Like, yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is fun. Thank you so much for having me. I really uh, appreciate it. This is really cool. And of I'm course, honored. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I was just like, I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to a bunch of creative people and, and um, just see yeah. how they're do, how they're holding up. Everyone has their own story, you know, like I Definitely. just kind of want to hear their own story. Like, oh. I, I, you know, not only musicians, but I want to talk to, you know, just painters, poets, you know, everybody yeah. and just, just see how, you know, how they hold it up and kind of just tell their side and, you know, why they're, they decide to do what they what they're doing so perfect i love it yeah awesome. but I, I just I had a whole bunch of just different ideas of, of different things that i i want to do um, yeah i, I, I want to get on twitch and kind of play games but like listen to people people's albums and stuff and and Definitely. i still haven't I still haven't gotten tiktok yet but we'll okay yeah i was just gonna ask about that because my sister is like always telling me that I should get on TikTok and play music. Is that a musician thing too? Like TikTok, I am so out of the TikTok loop. Me too. Like this is the first time I'm like, I felt like an old man and I'm just like, what is this TikTok? <laughs> yeah, same. And, I'm like, um, how do you do this? Yeah. Actually, I, I, I take that back. I was, I felt old with Snapchat. Snapchat, I was just like, I don't. Got I don't, it. Yeah. But, um, I like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've seen some people like they they posted articles on like being a musician and posting on on TikTok and like it's the fastest growing kind of platform. But I still don't like. I think I put in like a couple songs, but like I I honestly feel like I'm I'm playing for like 13, 14 year olds, and I'm not yeah. like my music doesn't really. They just like, don't I don't know. Me. Yeah. I was I was told my music. I think I mean everybody's music. That is on Spotify, I guess it's on TikTok now too. Oh really? I, didn't know. I, I think so. I'm I'm not sure. I know I think my music's on it if people want to like make a video with it, but I don't know how it got oh, there. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. For all you know that people were just making, you know, TikTok videos with your music on it. Right. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> You never know how like music just kind of like your music kind of impacts people's lives too. Yeah, is, that's always really cool. Like you know Definitely. down the down the line, I actually got an email um, today from somebody and they were like, I I just lost my job and I was feeling depressed and like I like I found your music and I was listening to it and you, oh you helped me yes. with my anxiety and I was like. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the best compliment. Yeah. It's, oh, that's it, honorable. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's just stuff like that that's awesome. Um, do you remember like your your I guess your what was your best comment uh, compliment oh. that you can think of? I think um this one this is one like stands out to me the most. I I had a song that was placed on a Cartoon Network show probably like maybe four years, five years ago at this point. And uh, it's called Here to Stay. And I remember somebody that was a huge fan of the show who discovered it on the show messaged me because he wanted to use it as his wedding song. And so- That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, apparently that my song was somebody's wedding song like three or four years ago, which is insane. But yeah, that, that was cool. That is really cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was, yeah, I I don't I even been know been like, what to say about that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, can you tell your videographer to send me a yeah. copy? Can you please send me this footage? <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, it was that was really really cool. That's cool. Do you Thanks. do you play at weddings at all or I ha um no, I, I haven't. I would love to, but I it's not something that I've done. I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have. I'm I like, <laughs> I played at a couple weddings and like it's kind of like the coolest but also the most stressful. Kind oh. of, for well, I guess for me personally, uh -huh. you know, everybody's different. 
I always felt like you're um no matter you have to be so adaptable like if something yeah. goes wrong or like you know what i mean you just have to keep the mood I mean, going that's like and, uh, yeah that's a lot of pressure like their big day you know just there's a lot of pressure <laughs> yeah there's um there was one time when i played i played at a winery and they saw me at the winery and they wanted me to do a, like anything that had to do with music they wanted me to do so I was in charge of, of the, the reception, the cocktail out, or the, you know, everything. Oh, wow. And I had, the, yeah, I had the band, like, all set up and stuff, and I did the cocktail out, I did, you know, the the, um, the ceremony and, and everything. And by the end of the day, like, like I got in the car, and it was, like, midnight, and I was just, I was <laughs> passed out for, like, just done. <laughs> Yeah, I was passed out for like three Jeez. days. I was like, don't go and talk to me. No, no, no. <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah, it was too much. Oh, like, it was, you know, when you like, you learn something, like you, you process a lot of information and all of a sudden your head hurts. It was just kind of oh, yeah. like, yeah. Like every day. <laughs> like every day. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like that. I was like, all right, I need a beat to step away from the yep. world and, and not, yes. uh, not deal with all that stuff. I agree. <laughs> Yep, I totally agree. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, so I'm just here. Hmm? Sorry, what? No, no, sorry. I just keep getting messages popping up here. I'm trying to like oh. ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I gotta set this up. Like, like, yeah. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I didn't, this is my first time doing this split live, so I had no idea, like, how to even do it. <laughs> Set it up? Yeah. Yeah. It's been going on, like, I discovered it, like, a couple years ago, and I was just like, ah, it's kind of cool, but never thought about this. And then I saw, like, um, I also saw, like, other, like, major artists, musicians kind of going, like, they're doing, like, verses, so they're playing their top hits and stuff, and everyone's like, yep. watching and stuff. And I was like, that's freaking cool. And I just wanted it's to really cool. It was yeah. really cool. I yeah. love it so much. Yeah, technology is it's getting crazy, especially right now with all this, you know? Yeah. Live stuff. But do you, do you think that like, like I, I was thinking that like, you know, there was, there was like Napster and then there's Spotify and then like, this is happening right now. Yeah. You see like, a major change happening when it comes to music and, and stuff? Or do you think it's just gonna be like, this is beautiful? Um, I don't know. I I think, I don't know. I, I think that it, it might stay kind of like the Spotify, Apple Music kind of duo at the top for a while. I don't really foresee anything changing that, but I could be wrong. It could be very wrong. <laughs> so. never, I mean, Spotify, well, Apple wasn't going anywhere. Right. So, that's definitely that. I mean, Spotify. Who knows? But I mean, this. You know, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. I. Oh man. I remember like Napster and LimeWire. Oh and all God. this. Oh my God. Those, those are the days. <laughs> <laughs> there is, oh, I. I destroyed so many computers on for because of fire. Yep. Viruses and stuff. Yep. I want to listen to something. Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny, and I'll be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was funny. Yeah, my mom was just like, "Are you watching porn?" I was like, "I swear to God, it's not porn. It's just music. I'm just listening." Downloading to music. music. <laughs> Downloading music. Yeah. It's really funny. Oh, so geez. many, so many times. Um, yeah, and then MySpace music. MySpace music. I heard that one point they tried to bring it back. I don't know if it's still there. I don't know. I I heard they were trying to bring it back, and then I heard that they deleted everybody's music that was but that was like on the platform mm -hmm. because I can't find any of the pop, the music that I had on MySpace, and I actually had some pretty like recordings that I want back on MySpace that I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they are. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I couldn't find them. I don't know where that. I don't know what happened with my space. No. Mm. Yeah. Wait, is my? I don't even. My space isn't a thing anymore, right? I mean, I don't think anybody's on MySpace, but I don't. I don't. I, 
I don't know if it's still up or not. I didn't either. I'm actually kind <laughs> like, of afraid to kind of log into like yeah. be able to <laughs> log in my Facebook, my, my my MySpace, and see what it says. Oh geez, your top ten. Yeah, I'm like who's my top ten? And be like, who was? Who's the top ten now? It's funny. Oh. What a catty thing. <laughs> yeah. That was a pretty, like, yeah, there was, like, a lot of broken friendships and uh, oh, yeah. fights over the top. top, the top. Oh, yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Did, what a weird they, didn't they change it to, like, they, like, had, like, a top 30 or, like, they added uh-huh. more or something? I think they added more and then you could choose to have less. Like, you can choose to have, like, a top like three or four, but I forget. I don't know. It's such a long time. <laughs> it's such a long time. I was, I didn't realize how old I was feeling until like I had um one of our like a couple years ago we had roommates and one of our roommates' nephews was playing like a video game, but yeah. he was playing like it was a game called Resident Evil, but it was like Resident Evil like number seven. And okay. I was, like, Oh, I remember when I was Resident Evil 1. He's like, oh, when was that? And I was like, 1998? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, Jeez. my God. Oh, yeah, all the video games. I was just talking about video games with my sister today, and for some reason, I think, <laughs> and uh, I'm still, like, a huge Mario fan. I don't think I'll yeah. ever not be a Mario fan. Yeah. Just something about it is just it's just nostalgic. Yeah. Like they, they can it really make, is. it's like they can make the worst Mario game I'm still gonna play. Right. That oh yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. That is <laughs> yeah. that's Sonic. I used to be a Sonic kid. Really? I never played Sonic when uh, I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I figured like as a kid you either get like a Nintendo or you get a Sega. And I was Right, I was, exactly. I was, I was a Sega kid. Okay, I was Nintendo. Nintendo. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just amazing how I don't know if you've you, you played any you know recent video games or anything like that, but like looking at the graphics, it's just like it's so scary of how like good <laughs> the artwork is and compared to like you know. I, I imagine it's pretty realistic now. <laughs> like yeah. I'm surprised it's not. Yeah, it's scary to think like, even ten years from now what what it's gonna be. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. Yeah. It's gonna be wild. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I want to leave a little more, uh, leave a little time here for you. And I was hoping, I was wondering if you wanted to play a song or two. A what? I, I was hoping, I was wondering if you wanted to play a song or two. Oh yeah, definitely. For sure. I see your guitar here, so. Yes. I'm just, really it's like a comfort cool. thing that I just like need to. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, I remember, like, even now, like, I'll find myself, like, kind of strum- strumming my hand on the edge of the, like, the table and stuff. It's just, yep. it's almost, it's like a weird tick that I have now. Like, exactly, I yep. Oh, yeah. Stuff. It's like singing without a guitar or something. It's so awkward. I don't know what to do with my hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I did that for the first time, actually, like, uh, for a while ago. It, it was like, I like I literally was just like I, I don't know what to do. Like, yeah, it's like, like no it's, idea. It's always been <laughs> hard. Like, yep. It's, it's wild. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, what's the title of this song? So this song is called "Dreaming About June," like the month of June, and I wrote it. This is the new one, the unreleased song that um, I'm going to release probably next week or the week after. And um, yeah, I started writing it at the beginning of quarantine, so probably sometime in March. And I finished it a few weeks later when I got back to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think it's just, it's about this whole like time and what I was going through and what I'm still going through during it. Um, And yeah, you're the first person to hear it aside from my parents. Well, I'm honored. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for listening. But, yeah. Um, you, can you hear that right? Yeah, I can hear that. Okay. All right, so yeah, this is Streaming About June. Caught 
Person or are you, are you a melody like a like what what do you start with when you write usually? I oh that's that's hard. I feel like when I write, it's usually unless I wrote down like an idea or my lyric my my notepad on my phone is just like full of just lyrics and just thoughts that I have for songs. So if I go from one of those, it's usually a lyric first. But if I pick up my guitar and write like a like a new song that I hadn't thought about before starting. It's usually the melody because that usually, that comes out pretty easily based on how I'm feeling. So yeah, I guess it depends. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, my how dog's going crazy. Um, oh, no I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of a, um, I'm more of a music first type of person okay. and then kind of like let the lyrics just kind of, you know, it's usually, me mumbling a whole bunch of things <laughs> and then like just a random yeah. word would just pop up like oh that's good and then like <laughs> there it just kind of um it just happens it just happens but i've been doing a um a like a kind of like a songwriter challenge for me because i've always my i've always been like searching for, for like perfection when it comes to the to uh, to a song, and it takes me forever to, to kind of write a song. So I, yes. I like I got to do this, and then I, I give myself a week, and then I, I kind of play like um like I guess like a songwriter's roulette, and I have like a song like a chord book, and then like I'll just randomly just choose a random mm -hmm. chord no matter what it is. Oh, that's like, cool. All right, that's 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 the one, and then like, I like that. 
yeah. And then just chords you would never play before, and then it would just your creativity just kind of takes over. So that's awesome. I should start doing that. Yeah, it's actually it's, it's pretty fun. It's it, like it it just kind of falls all falls in the lap, and uh, I I realized that I need to do way more of that and just kind yeah. of let things go and, and let the the process kind of go through. Definitely. But, you know, it's just like everyone, like every single song you write, you you want to, it's like, oh, that's going to be, you want that to be the Grammy. You know what I mean? So it's just, yeah. like, you, know, right. like, you know, you want to make it perfect. But sometimes it's just a song is just a song. You just have to, you know, let it, you know, come out and you never know how people are going to respond to it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I, I got to start doing that. I experiment with some new chords. That's something I've been kind of meaning to do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a nice exercise. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I actually learned it from, I was having, I was having a writer's block and my wife, like, uh, there was a poet that she really likes and she's like, she was doing like a, um, uh, like a work uh, workshop and basically she was doing the, the the foundation and I always felt like that was the, the hardest part like if you set like yeah. once you set the foundation everything else kind of falls into place so you just kind of set yeah. certain limits on yourself and just kind of let and then nature just kind of takes over right I agree so, I definitely agree yeah my dog is going nuts Aww, so cute Oh, my dog was barking before. I don't know if you heard her. No, uh, but I, I think I heard her. She's what, in the other room. What type of dog do you have? Oh, we have. Uh, she is half. What is she? Half German Shepherd, half Keyshawn. So she's just like a very small, fluffy-looking German Shepherd, kind of tiny fluff. Nice. So, yeah. So she's she's here. She's she's adorable. Love her. <laughs> How old is yeah. she? She's like seven, I think now. Mm. Seven or I don't think she's eight yet. I'm not sure. I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So and I oh. just um what? No, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, and I just adopted a kitten. And, uh, but he's in Nashville. So when I go back to Nashville, I'm going to have a cat. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm I hope it's not too long where like, he'll look at you and be like, who are you? you know, oh my God, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> he's a full grown cat by that time. Yeah, he's like, I don't even know you. What are you, what are you doing in my life? <laughs> you you adopted me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, let's hope it's not too long. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's awesome. There's something about dogs that's like just animals that just makes you like. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it, dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just well, this one here. I was actually, I was actually, a, you know, pretty mad at her uh, this morning because she never does this. Like, she just learns stuff from other dogs that she sees, like from across the street. And um, oh. so she's like a dog. Like after the dog poop, like she, the dog, you know, kicks kicks his leg back. And she's yeah. never done that ever. <laughs> like, like I took her out, and then she just starts kicking dirt on my leg. I'm like, "What oh my the hell God. are you doing?" Like, That's hilarious. Oh, she learned. It's really yeah. funny. She's a little too so smart. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They are smart for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I there's only mm -hmm. a couple. We we're only allowed to do up to an hour on here. Okay. And I was wondering, if you, can you play us one more song before? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think um, I would love to. Just let me say, I'm gonna play. I I think I'm gonna play the song I talked about before. That was apparently a wedding song. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, this is a song I wrote when I was like 18. So I think I wrote this song like 10 years ago. Um, and it's still one of my favorites and it's a very it's probably one of my most known songs from that show I, i've kind of met a lot of new fans through it which has been really nice and uh yeah it's called here to stay and nice. all right
Of course. Thank stuff. you so much for, for doing doing this with me. Um, tell everybody here, um, you know, where to find you, where to listen to your music. Yeah, you can find me on uh, amandafama.com, and my music is under Amanda Fama on Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff. So, and you can find me on Instagram. Right. Here. Right. Thank you so much, here, Amanda. Thank this you. Take Thank care. you so much. You too. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.